And fight of the night was Strickland to Plessis. They all won fifty thousand dollars. Nice. We've got a new champion, Andrikis de Plessis. I'm curious, did you have him winning that fight? It was a very close fight, and did you have him on the scorecards winning? It's funny. I was. We were just looking at the at how the media had scored it, and uh, right down the middle, I had it uh, two to two going into the last round, and I thought uh, Strickland won the last round. Um, guys who were sitting at the same table had it the other way, and. Uh, you know, it was a close fight. Str I thought Strickland looked great in the first two rounds. I mean, the jab was fucking beautiful. You don't see jabs like that in MMA. And, and, and the jab did what they're supposed to do. Both of his eyes were swollen shut. Um, he slowed down in the third and fourth. Du du uh, Duplessis kept coming forward. Uh, you know, then started mixing up takedowns and, and punches. And, and uh, I had it uh, even going to the fifth round. I'm like, this is the round, see who wants it. And they both started to turn it up a little bit. Just, it's just one of those tight fights. But I'm also one of these guys, I believe you have to take it from the champion, so. Sean, Sean Strickland's an interesting thing, right? Like some of the things he says piss a lot of people off. I'm sure it can't be great for sponsors, but clearly this week he has become a massive star for the UFC. So with that in mind, do you want to give him an immediate rematch because it was such a close fight or what do you want to do with Sean next? I don't know. I mean, eventually these two are going to end up fighting again, I'm sure but we're not thinking about an immediate rematch right now.